okay, very good. Good morning and welcome to episode 1413 of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, March 6th, 2024. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. 80 percent accuracy guaranteed on this podcast. Everything you need to know in 40 minutes or less. But if you need more, go to patreon.com slash hard factor for bonus episodes. Today, Wes has a unique escort turf war over in Asia to tell us about. Yeah, the transsexual whores are pissed. And I'm going to talk, I'll tell you about it. <laughs> That's what I hear. Can't wait to <laughs> dig in. Uh, Mark, Mark's got after that. Coming out firing. <laughs> yeah. It's need to know. Yeah. It's hot news. Uh, Mark's got a lot of balls to fill us in on after that. Sounds like Wes might as well. But yes, I also have a lot of balls. Yeah, true. We got a lot of balls over here. All heavy <laughs> yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in the front there. Yeah, which makes sense. Um, I've got uh, China and Russia planning to put a nuclear plant on the moon. Uh, we'll, we'll go go in depth on that. Sounds and then right. James, James Bond-esque. Drop a load yeah. on him. Yeah, definitely. Drop, Drop a load on him. Uh, it's like a Dr. Evil style. Uh, and then Pat's got an insane car wreck to tell us about. Ooh. Yeah, it's a car crash Please. that you will not believe. Okay. Unbelievable okay. Car, car wreck. All right. That's how we'll close it up. But yeah, that's what, that's what we're talking about today. I saw a car wreck um, on my way to pick up Cam from school. And it was like, it was clearly just a little fender bender, but it was an old guy in a, in a truck and he was blocking the road. But I, I know he loved it because he had to get out of his truck and start directing traffic around. Like oh, yes. Yeah. You know, he was he, he was in heaven. Just like, yeah. did he have like a safety vest? on <laughs> No, him? no, he didn't. But he was he was in control. I'll tell you that you were put on this <laughs> earth. <to do> this. <laughs> did he get in the wreck? Yeah, he was part of the wreck. He was uh, he right. was one of the two cars in the wreck. And he was then he got out and made You know, he was he was in total control of the situation. They have flares. Like, uh, no, you know, no, no, I think it had just happened when I pulled in. So he had just gotten out of his car and he was redirecting traffic. Luckily, it happened yeah. right across the street from a hospital. Yeah. So I'm sure it was right. everyone's OK. The other person's like, can I get your uh, insurance? Hold on. Let me deal with yeah. this and then I'll get to yeah. you. I'll get Hang to on. you. Yeah. yeah. We've got to get this under control. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crash he was, scene. He loved yeah. it. Clean yeah. up his mess. Yeah. His instinct kicking in for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'm fine. Should have kicked in uh, 30 seconds before. The right. Wreck. It kicked in directly after I rear-ended you. Now, hold on a second while <laughs> yeah, I take care I'm of this fine. Track. Yeah, right. You're fine. I'm fine. Let me get these people where they need to go. Yeah. <laughs> There's cars here. <laughs> um. All right. Well, you guys want to do the news? Yeah, do it. Okay. Drop a load on them. Drop a load on them. Um, guys, I don't know the last time you, you, you saw the movie Pretty Woman. I actually just watched it in the last two weeks. It's a great movie. Um, but there are many teachable lessons in that movie, right? Two months. One, two months. Yeah, uh, last, yeah, I tried. I, I try to catch it every time I can. <laughs> it was on TV recently, so yeah, whenever it's yeah. on TV, if yeah, exactly. Else on. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's long, a little bit longer for me, but I've seen it like in the last. Decade. <laughs> well, it's not that all four of us aren't obsessed. With Some it. movie podcast broke it down recently, and I was like, I gotta get back in there and check it out. Oh, it's, it's a good. It's a great film. It's even it's better the tenth time. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> There are many, many teachable lessons in that movie. Uh, the first being that that Julia Roberts uh, was way underpriced. Uh, three grand for six days of unlimited sex and companionship was the deal of the century for Richard Gere. Um, and and she would have she would have stayed for less, as you remember. Um, there was a little negotiation and she then later says, I would have stayed for two. And he says something like well, I would have paid five or I would have paid four or something like that. So I mean, uh, story. amazing, great back and forth. One of the great back and forth they have, which are there's several. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Negotiating the, the price of the of the whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Julia Roberts. Yeah. Um, inflation, just just to make clear, at seventy two sixty two. OK. OK. Still still a deal. For yeah. Julia Roberts, uh, no. a deal. She's pretty hot. Yeah. 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 Very. She was uh, rumors hot. that she smells, but yeah. Oh, what? Really? What does she smell uh, like? Like, uh, like um, hippie, hippie smells. You know, like, like truly. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, like, like nothing. Like bio. Kombucha? Like no masking agent. Yeah, like bio. Mm. Like bio. Okay. Um, the other thing we learned is is that like gangs, whores have turf, right? Remember when Kit kicked off the other whore who was encroaching on her and Vivian's strip of the Hollywood stars. She's like, you got to get off our turf because turf is where you make your cash. So when another whore encroaches on your turf, 
they're fucking with your money and you cannot have yeah. that right now no, no. unfortunately there was no prostitute fight scene in pretty woman but real life is a little different so let's go to bangkok a place that is known for sex tourism even though fun fact it's not the whore capital of the world any guesses which country is amsterdam right or amsterdam yeah what well, Netherlands? Yeah, clearly it's a trick question it had to be amsterdam oh uh, whore capital germany yeah. Columbia. Nope. Nope. I was I was shocked. It is a place called Hira Mundi in Lahore. Funny enough, Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, it's from Google. It's sure notorious. Yeah. Google says it has uh, existed since 1947. Two million sex workers making it the largest prostitution capital of the world. Two so, million. Two million. Yep. S sounds, sounds like a trap. Google. Wes. Sounds well, like someone here, got here, on there and Here's a, here's trap. a picture from the like I guess the the, the old yeah, days. It's, There's a it's Pakistani red light district. That's that's wild. Yeah, crazy, right? Kerosene couple, light. Couple pictures. Yeah. So you can get uh, what's even crazier is that while you're getting like a blowjob and a biryani, um, it's not you're gonna pay more for the biryani because uh, the average encounter there is about a max of five dollars. So that's when you have to lie to the uh, the spouses about when you're like. Yeah, the bachelor party's in, in Lahore, Pakistan. You're going to have to come up with another right. location. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, someone's going to look that up. Yeah, Lahore. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Lahore, <laughs> man. How, How, many many dudes, Pakistan? How many dudes just disappear to Pakistan? Now now that you know that. There's, it oh. happens more than you think. No well, AC what, there. What's crazy right. about that specific location is that I read that they're that the the, the whores are ba it's basically like a family business. So if your mother was a whore, you have a great chance of continuing the family business, which is whoredom. Um, you know, it's Brothel. either it's either necessity or is or it? it's passed down to the next generation. Are the owner operators there? Those booths? It's like yeah. you get, I didn't get yeah. that far. I don't yes. know. Got to carry quite the, the insurance industry, policy like if you're owner your operator. Well. Yeah, two exactly. million chicks smelling like Julia Roberts in that hot Pakistani sun. Yeah, I imagine it's not the best smelling city in the world. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to the turf wars. As I said, Th Thailand and Bangkok consistently the top 10 for sex tourism destinations, along with another country in the region of the world, the Philippines, which is probably why producer Eric uh, moved there. Um, <laughs> another thing uh, these two countries share is the phenomenon known as lady boys, or as we call them over here, uh, transsexuals. But let's face it, their transsexuals are hotter uh they just are is it isn't it a is, isn't like a call is it culturally different right it's it's like not like a like uh it's not someone who's transgender right it, lady it's, boys it, right it's someone, lady boy. yeah, it's like it's whole they're, it's like a whole other thing there they're they're transsexuals they're transgender i don't know if they all have their their penises cut off um or no not, no, no. I, I know what you mean i just think culturally you're saying it's like, like sumo a, wrestlers in japan Lady like boys a, in Thailand or whatever. Yeah, like, it's like, like a thing. Like it's, or, it's like a thing of honor. No, yeah, if you if you're a white honor. person and you went over there and were transsexual, you'd probably be called a lady boy. And if your lady boy came over here, you we call them a, a transgender person or transsexual. I think I don't it's, know. It's not apples to apples because the culture. But yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I get what you're not, saying too. But it's it is apples to apples. <laughs> I get what Adam you're saying, apples but to apples. It's apples. To, it's apples to balls. <laughs> it's plums to plums. Yeah. <laughs> That's the butt. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Now, uh, Thailand and Bangkok's Red District is Come a more popular des destination than, than I think mm -hmm. the Philippines, say Manila for sex tourism. Maybe Eric can pop in and, and, and correct me on that. So many Filipino ladyboys flock there to, you know, suck cock, make a buck or two. But what happens when the local ladyboys start to lose business to the Filipino boys? Well, you have a turf war. And according to reports, I'm going to play you a video in a minute. This turf war began back on March 5th when a local Thai lady boy was assaulted and robbed by about 20 Filipino lady boys. So the Thai lady boys, you know, came together. They formed a group of about, I think, 100, and they went to a popular hotel where the Filipino lady boys were operating out of, and they started chanting nationalistic rhetoric and called for the Filipino lady boys to leave the country. Um, other reports say it began simply because the Filipino lady boys were stealing business and there's not enough to go around, I guess. Regardless, a fight broke out and sure. police were unable to mediate and calm down the two groups of transsexual whores, which I bet is about the hardest kind of group to calm down. Um, we all know what happens when you tell an actual woman to calm down, add testosterone and, you know, denser muscle mass into that scenario. You have a mm. recipe for disaster. Powder it's also awkward yeah. when like yeah. half the cops, like they know their names 
you know, like because right. they mm-hmm. might be like John's. Yeah. That's a hard Leon. One. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, here's the video of the once in a lifetime scene. I'm gonna play it without sound. Sounds just like you think a bunch of whores fighting on the streets would. Just a little bit uh, lower pitch than normal. Okay. So as you can see, they're just fighting in the streets. The lettos are off. Um, they're all oh, dressed wow. in their garb. Um, yeah, they're just and, all street walkers. Yeah, just going at it, that grabbing one. by the hair. A lot of hair grabs. Them, yeah, a couple of them yeah. really going at it. Yeah, it looks like spring break in Miami. Um, yeah, brawl. Yeah, yeah, just a brawl. Um, some, some, some of the uh, the clothes were torn off, exposing the fake boobs of some of the, the uh, lady boys, which I'm sure was great. Um, now, how, and, how many? How many sex workers were involved in this? In over this hundred, o- hundreds. There was hundreds. So there's like hundred, like over a hundred on each side of sex so workers. So the Thai lady, the Thai boys, lady boys outnumbered the Filipinos um, because okay. they they were the ones that formed. Well, the, they're the um, locals. Yeah, they're the, the locals. Filipinos, yeah. The Filipino lady boys are coming in and stepping on the turf of the Thai exactly. lady boys. That's the gripe, right? Well, that yeah. one looks tough. Yeah. Very. Very tough. Uh, a lot a of them putting their hair up, and ready for battle. Yeah, look at this one. That one, she got, Ooh, she, she, she got fucked up. up. Yeah. Whoa. So, so okay. here they are. They're taking them into the police station. West, what were you talking about? With they look so much better over there. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 this that's not a good example. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she did just, she did just get in the brawl. Will I mean, that's she did true. just get punched. No one looks great after you get beat up. Will <laughs> yeah. yeah, tough look <laughs> for that argument. Yeah. Um. Anyway, according to the article, the clash continued at the local Lumpini uh, District Police Station, where the Filipino transgender women were reportedly detained for working without the necessary visas and permits. Oh, so they stick them in the same cells. And they I don't just know. Kept going. Yeah. Maybe they charged. They put them in the same cells oh. and then started taking uh, you know, dollars at the door. I don't know. I mean, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a brawl. That's a fun brawl. It's a fun brawl, right? Um, yeah. I mean, you'd pictures. get pretty horned up watching that if you were cruising for for sex workers there you go will (laughs) yeah (laughs) stunning stunning brian stunning stunning beauty (laughs) well we've all played the is it a lady boy or not game on here and we've all failed so yeah (laughs) that's That's for sure on the headshots but you didn't you didn't put her up (laughs) they didn't street brawl is a little easier to tell she had a hairy belly button so i mean bucket list material right there uh lady boy <laughs> fight in the middle of bangkok so that's wild um, yeah, yeah pretty wild it's like running of the bulls except with uh lady boys lady yeah. boy escorts yeah. yeah so hopefully if things have calmed down and all the all the american british men can go back to you know having sex with lady boys running of the the bulls. Blue <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really fucked fun. up really fucked up some trips you know yeah no <laughs> yeah hey Boy. Uh, I got, you, I got you some frozen peas. Can we get back to? <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, um, guys, you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you can scr- subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer from an other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right. No cap on the 3% match. Robinhood gold gets you the most for your retirement. Thanks to their IRA with 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at robinhoodcom slash boost subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info claims as of quarter one, 2024 validated by radius global market research, investing involves risk, including loss limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Thank you, Seth. Greatest show live. Live comment. Uh, Let's talk about balls still. Uh, First up, there's a lot of balls in bowling. Mm. Aren't there? Isn't there? And now, thanks to Balls Out Bowling, an 18 and up nudity required bowling event, there are testicles as well. Oh, well, you, they're all. I mean, you're always bring your testicles to the bowling alley. But right? now you can see right. them. Now you can do the shimmy thing where you can clean your your bowling ball and your nuts. You can do the nuts dance. Uh, guess which <laughs> city's hosting this event? Take a guess. Las Vegas. Good guess. 
Wichita, Kansas. I think more blue collar. Yeah, more even more blue collar. How about Pittsburgh? The Steel City, the city of bridges, blue collar cock and balls event, baby. Wow. Crazy because we just talked about Bobert's ex exposing himself at the bowling alley. He was ahead of his time. Should probably really? go to this thing. Yeah. Um, you know how they nude, totally nude from the pants down. Well, all completely nude, completely nude. Uh, you oh, know how they make fun of what nudity is not sexy in that Seinfeld episode, like opening. I was a, just thinking open, of that opening a pickle jar. I don't think I think bowling would be one of the not sexy yeah. bending over, opening yeah, a pickle jar, bending yeah. over, like, like yeah. throwing a 13, 14 <laughs> yeah. pound ball, chugging yeah. beers. And, like, You're going to see a lot in your feet. Eyes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not, uh. not, not the sexiest event. Uh, now, there is one caveat. Will you mentioned uh, the nudity stuff. Uh, women of which there will be none at this event, can wear bottoms if they want, but they have to go topless. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why'd they start with the men on this one? Not going to be a clam jam. <laughs> Who, who's putting this on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nudist colony in Pittsburgh. Oh. So hold back, <laughs> balls. Probably some interesting titties, some low hangers is my guess. It's Sunday, April 28th, the Pittsburgh area naturalist. Pittsburgh's <laughs> finest nudist, nudist colony is renting mm-hmm. out soon-to-be stinking bowling alley Crafton Ingram Lanes. I mean, it already smells, but yeah. Crafton Ingram Lanes on the 20th. Dude, all the shoes, they're not going to be wearing socks. And then yep. every seat is just bare ass and balls. Every just... ball is going to have to be walked <laughs> thoroughly. Every They're going to have to. Horrible for the bowling alley. Yeah, it's a bad, bad decision for the bowling It's a three hour event from four to seven. So I think they're going to have to shut it down after seven. Probably seven eight cleaning. Now, are they allowed to serve food? Uh, yes. with with nudity i thought there was like a some kind of health code regulation with all that the pittsburgh area natural sign a waiver west they're they're okay, okay with it you know right, cool. um yes anyways uh it's a ticket only event i think i have the event bright ticket let me see if i put it in here here it is uh see pittsburgh area naturalist who has 638 followers on event bright that follow them around uh mm-hmm. are, are doing 25 dollars a ticket and i imagine uh you know that's a pretty close-knit community pretty you get to know people pretty quick they're not a lot of introverts in that group no no yeah so yeah the you ultimate guys go? extrovert event yeah would you guys go remember when we went to the adam and eve place in, in key west and it was mainly dudes i imagine the bowling event would be even more so but uh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i probably wouldn't go to the bowling nudist go. bowling event no so most likely most likely. i lost I mean, my I, audio but i just came back so yeah i mean i'm there i don't know what it is but i'm going you want the, you like the bowling event? I mean, maybe follow the group and see what their next event is, but I'm probably going to skip the bowling. I don't know. Do you have to be a member or can you just show up and pay the 25 bucks? Well, you can't bring your phone. There's a zero tolerance sexual harassment policy. Hmm. Um, but no, you don't have to be a member. You just have to pay the 25 bucks. No walk-ins. You have to have a ticket. And when doing my journalistic due diligence on the story, I did discover, interestingly, that two of the most recent Google reviews for that bowling alley, what was it called again? Uh, Craft and Ingram Lanes there in Pittsburgh. Uh, mm-hmm. Now, these reviews were spaced out over 10 months. They uh, both accused the owner of being a blatant racist to Native Americans and black people, citing specific examples of how they were treated very differently than white groups. One from a white guy who's been treated differently in his white groups, but not with his mixed friends. So hopefully for that owner, there aren't a lot of huge black dicks on April 28th because that would drive him insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's a real racist. Someone, someone that yeah. uh, discriminates against Native American people. Like, you, you, it's hard to find him in the first place. Let go, let alone um, discriminate against him. He was excited to discriminate that day, Pat. He was like, "All yeah. oh, right, whenever he gets the chance." Oh, rare hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look who's coming through the door. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Keep heading north. Uh, he might. That guy might want to stay home on the twenty eighth and let his staff handle things. Um, this is gonna be a tough day for him. Do you think, uh, I mean, what's the diversity of, of, of that club? I would imagine it's mostly like elderly, like retired dudes, right? Like it's like elderly white people. Yeah. Elderly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Old. It's probably his buddies. Be honest, he might be in it. You might, you might be right. Well, it might be his buddy. You might know exactly. <laughs> he might, he might have a staff working because he's participating. Right. Which, like, would, be, which would be really aggressive. <laughs> <You're> just <sure. laughs> Do you think of work. the yeah? What is it the the demographics of every nudist c- group you've ever seen? In you know, it's like Over pretty much one years. demographic, right? It's old it's, white people. It's yeah. nudists. I'm picking up as I go because I lost the audio. Okay, got it. It's yeah. nudists. <laughs> so, yeah. I see black dudes upset. I got it. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, Check yeah. it. 
All right, yeah. so that's Native Americans thing. didn't know they were packing. All right. Well, no, no, they were just uh, they were went to the bowling alley when it wasn't a nudist night, and that took oh. three hours for them to get their food, and they were like basically How? yelled out of there. Yeah, and then um, uh, the other guy said he went with his white buddies all the time, and they always had a good time. But when he went with his black friends, um, they got completely discriminated against. They weren't allowed to split checks, which the t- the white group behind him was allowed to split checks as they were walking out, and like the whole Whoa. the whole nine, the whole oh, nine. Geez. Anyways, uh, lastly, real quick, speaking of balls. Michael Farchi of Agora Hills, California, who was staying at the Venetian in Las Vegas, was just comped his room after complaining that a scorpion stung him in the testicles in his hotel room while he slept. Just okay. All right. The worst luck. I mean, it's just. Now, you couldn't I, do more on scorpion, that's a, de- that's a desert. Is a is scorpion a bug or a crustacean? What is it? That's uh, like a cent- like part of the centipede or like this arachnid, right? Yeah, it's like exactly. part of the arachnid, arachnid family. Yeah. Is, it, is it a crustacean like land crab? Arachnid? Okay, yeah. what is a scorpion? But right, they're, they're native to the desert. But yeah. so theoretically, yeah. this could have been like an organic scorpion, or is this like a situation where like the guy who was there the night before had like a scorpion act where it must be performing. like in Vegas, it's so heavy pop- heavily populated that you wouldn't think there's that many like scorpions in that city. Or could this be like when a guy puts glass in his food at a restaurant to get comp to meal? You think he brought yeah, his own scorpion? Yeah. I don't know. He no, said, by he, not, oh, "Daddy's hungry." <laughs> he had to prove that, he had to prove that he got stung in the balls, right? I mean, like, well, just... he did send pictures. He said, "I just felt like somebody stabbing me in my private area. It felt like a sharp glass uh, or Ooh. a knife." That's right on the boxers. He will. He looked down when he went to the bathroom, and the thing was hanging onto his boxers. His oh. dick is, and that's the picture of it still on there. It was just stinging away. It's like I a mean, baby. Anyone could bring a dead scorpion to Vegas. You know what I mean? Like, uh, true. It's an arachnid, by the way. Whoever said yeah, that? Yeah, right. arachnid. Yeah. Yeah. But they, but they have, but I mean, like they have scorpions in Vegas for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's a little one, so it could be that it slipped in there. The ones in Texas are pretty, pretty tiny too. If you're, I've, I've, I've yeah. had one at my house before. They're those are the ones tiny. you got to worry about. Uh, <laughs> <It's> little ones. <laughs> it's little ones, uh, guys. Because I don't want, I don't want to say anything, but. Is this a fucking viral marketing situation? Because the Scorpions, the band, are doing a residency in Vegas right now. At Maybe. the Venetian? Was Travis uh, Gambino behind this? Where is it? Um, this guy got stung at the Venetian. No, they're not too. They're not. Mm. They're not. They're not performing at the Venetian. Well, the, the backed theater at Planet Hollywood. Let me show you this guy too. Farchi is obviously not real thrilled with just the room comp, so he's now threatening legal action. Here he is on the left with his lawyer, who looks like what a caricature artist would draw if asked to draw an old Jewish lawyer. Yeah. Right. This, <laughs> draw me the slipperiest lawyer in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't believe this guy. <laughs> he's, they look what kind like of monsters. Monsters. Yeah. Fedora? He's got like yeah, a fedora on. Like fedora. Yeah. These two guys look like they cooked it up. Yeah. Like- <laughs> I wouldn't believe a word either of them said. No. Both of those guys. <laughs> I mean, hold on, put that back up. That guy was rocking Reebok, like, uh, like yeah, uh, Reebok boxers. poly poly knit boxers. There's no fucking way. Yeah, he's There's athletic. No fucking way. He, he's athletic. He's big balled. That uh, 76 year old man is rocking those Reeboks. No, he's a tiny whitey guy. This is Pat, a plant. Pat, what they found is that the when they tested the scorpion on different types of underwear, that's the one it stuck to the most. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Anyways, he's he's gonna sue. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Mm. I hope his balls are okay. I'm telling you, this is this is a fucking this is to promote love at first sting. The Scorpions residency at the Planet Hollywood Theater. Maybe so, Uh, but you know it's tough. It's just I think it's horrible luck. It's like one in one in a billion chance, right? That you're gonna get stung by a scorpion in the nuts. All right. Uh, Some of the trending stories we're not gonna talk about, but uh, did happen. Meta outage. had to be a hack, right? Like they were out all day Tuesday, started like 10 a.m. Facebook and Instagram were down um, starting unlikely, at like 10 a.m. It lasted like uh, hours. So unlikely it was just the update during, you know, prime hours. So yeah, right during prime hours on Super Tuesday, which right. was it was like primary elections in a lot of states. So people, you know, throwing in like, is it election interference? I, I have a theory. Or you, it could be like user error that happens sometimes. Someone deletes a log file they shouldn't. But yeah, but they probably could have quicked it a lot, fixed it a lot quicker because it was out for a while. Um, I have a feeling it was a Yells fan who, who we'll have back on the show right? soon because her Meta account got deleted by and banned. And her she main, had, yeah. she had like six hundred thousand followers. Someone, someone that's a big Yells fan that has computer skills, I think, got in there. Devastating. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of the uh, nerds that are simping over uh, Yells out there. 
That's yeah. true. One of them got Zuckerberg right in the chops because Meta was fucking out all Super Tuesday. Uh, it got back up, but you know it's, it was embarrassing. All basically all day outage. I wonder who the nominees are going to be. It's Super Tuesday. I mean, we all know. Um, so, but will so Haley not. drop out? That's the question, right? Yeah, I mean, she's no, still dude. Yeah. No, it's not part of the plan. The plan is right to the end. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a death insurance policy. That's what she's playing. Right. She won DC. It was her first win, and then we'll see oh, how nice. close she gets to Virginia. But get a win. I mean, That's like uh, when um, uh, Bloomberg got American Samoa. To get one's nice, right? That was huge. It's a lot like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very Samoa vibes on that DC win. <laughs> it's nice to get one. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. It's it's almost like it was all worth it. Yeah, yeah. The months of campaigning and the millions of dollars. <laughs> oh, yeah. billions, bro. Right. Uh, all right, uh, there's a, a RIP to the five dead in a Nashville plane crash. That's very sad. Kate Middleton, uh, her people are c- concerned about her health, you know, uh, I guess because Charles is already sick and the crown she's she's been like, in the disappeared. Hospital a lot. Yeah, she's been in and out of the hospital a lot recently. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, Europe, uh, the Champions League, people are getting all jazzed up about that. Uh, and then also this alternate angle of humpback uh, whale B sexually dominating uh, male A while in Hawaii 2023. Something else. Wow. Is that Drake? Right. It's it's aggressive. Humpback whales, everybody. First time ever. Male is on it, male. They were. Yeah. Is it gay to go back and try to try to find the Drake? clip now yes extreme you haven't seen it like you're gonna yeah. seek it yeah. out now yeah you're, yeah your your time's way past on that yeah okay. what's the statute of limitations for just check check oh, current check it out current events within okay. 24 hours of the news cycle. yeah you didn't see it on like the yeah. trending tab or when everybody was posting it before yeah, it got something going on that day <laughs> is it gay to look at it again now <laughs> they posted on porn extremely yeah <laughs> All right, uh, but all those that I just mentioned are small potatoes compared to the real shocking, but somehow not that shocking uh, news today that Russia and China are planning to install a joint nuclear plant on the moon. Uh, they plan to get this sucker installed sometime between 2033 and 2035. Nuclear power on the moon uh, for China and Russia. That's what they're going for. Yeah. Fucking moon wars bro why yeah it's a start uh well turns out we actually announced ours way before theirs uh the head of roscosmos uh confirmed uh this with the ria russian state news agency on tuesday of this week that russia and china want to build their nuclear uh power plant on the moon uh they also confirmed that uh russian and chinese governments uh themselves have confirmed that the two are working closely on uh outer space security biosecurity and then the use of ai in all capacities including as weapons so fun stuff they're going to make a nuclear power plant on the moon and they're working on maybe ai weapons together you know just it's 100 percent because russia's main move right now is trying to build the capability to nuke uh satellites right which could crush global communication so this is probably just a smoke screen for that you have That's, to nuke a satellite to take it out just like one you don't missile? have to but a nuclear satellite electro- will fuck up multiple sag satellites at once is the mm. reason they want to do it lasers west space lasers ever heard of them uh u.s space force general uh stephen whiting uh also recently warned that china is on pace to be as good as the usa in space by 2030 at the current rate they're advancing compared to us in space technology we're and he great. added that <laughs> what's that we're not that great so a lot of failures we've recently. we've hit a skid that's for sure yeah. I mean, we've hit a big on. skid why are you guys hating what, like, because what, we went from 1960 to, to last week getting to the moon, Pat. And, well, it and didn't. Like, no, it, we didn't even get there, Mark. It fell uh, over, just like right. India's and and uh, and, and, Japan's. And, and Japan's. Yeah. So. And, I mean, our private companies are getting pretty good, but not NASA. Artemis. In my opinion. Yeah. Right. Our Project Artemis West is the actually the main thing that's that's fucking up so bad that why we're behind. I know. Um, right. He, he added, yes, very smart, Wes. Uh, he added the General Space Force. He said uh, that Russia is uh, tagging along as China's little helper in developing counter space weaponry uh, and that them as a team, they're doing quite well. He said, uh, quote, these weapons are intended to disrupt, threaten, and destroy space targets or otherwise deny freedom of action in space. And so that's what they're up to out there. Um, as Mark pointed out over here in the U.S., we're already spending the most ever 
on defense and still kind of losing this space race 2.0 so far. Um, and we actually announced, as I was saying earlier, as far back as uh, Trump's uh, last days in office in 2020, that we are actually going to have a nuclear uh, power plant on the moon as well. Um, by 2026 is what we said back in 2020. That's part supposed to be part of Project Artemis. Um, and vendors, including Lockheed Martin and uh, Westinghouse, won the contracts for that nuclear uh, base on the moon in 2022. This was their uh, prototype rendering here of a nuclear fission plant they're going to install on the moon. And the last I've seen, Project Artemis is delayed until at least 2025 just for the first launch. So, you know, uh, maybe it's time to rethink all those sole source contracts at the DOD and NASA yeah. before we're, we're really number two in space. Like it seems be like, used, like it's coming up soon. You know, I think that money could be used here on earth also, yeah or to actually House win the space race should focus know, on maybe? making a good stereo like it, it's like iowa wins contract in space are you kidding me dude get rid of nasa and put <laughs> all that money towards like schools roads food and let the private companies who are kicking your asses deal with it like what are we doing well right but i mean that the, the issue is they have so many private companies that they've been using for decades no, in the space like, program. I'm uh, saying like like Elon Musk's work, company and like no uh, what. Richard whatever. You're like it's only open to like a few companies. To get bid, rid of NASA. Is what I'm saying we don't need right. NASA anymore. You know, long money. money. But then we're gonna get all our satellites jacked up by China and Russia. That's what Space Force guys saying. Space Force okay. General. It's a, it's a tough situation. I mean, it's it's hard to be number one for so long and then see yourself just like getting you know chubbier and chubbier in the mirror all the time you're 40 Truth. times getting slower and slower yeah. and you're just know about and, that yeah. yeah and i mean now you might be number two in, in space that's not i mean you know hey what's next the olympics <sighs> no less no maybe russia well <laughs> but no no we're still good there yeah yeah goals Hell yeah um we, you guys want to talk about this car crash Yes. Yeah, crazy car crash. All right, so uh, this is like the most insane car crash I ever seen. They had to get the jaws of life out, and uh, you won't believe who's inside of it. Uh, I guess I just let me just play the video. Oh, It'll be easier. Shit, man. All right, here we go. Here's the video. Fourteen years ago, a 27-year-old man appeared on a VH1 reality show for more than a decade. Whoa. The show has been lost, scrubbed from the internet. After countless hours of internet sleuthing, <laughs> dozens of unanswered emails, a single unreturned phone call, and a complex scheme impersonating a distributor, what once was lost is now found. Coming soon to patreon.com slash hard factor. We give you a young Wes Shepherd in <laughs> Dad Camp. Mm. To recognize the responsibility doesn't just end at conception. <laughs> it's the courage to raise the child. For these women, an unplanned pregnancy changed their lives forever. That's oh, where he comes no. in. Your women are fed up. Dr. Oh. Jeff is a licensed therapist who doesn't <laughs> hold back. And I'm Wes, and I'm 27. All he wants to do all day is slam down beers. Oh, I'm not at all willing to give up being able to go out and hang out with my friends. My friends are very important to me. You know, having fun is very important to me. I need a little bit of downtime. <laughs> I need to be able to relax. <laughs> yeah, man, just living with one pregnant chick's bad. I don't even want to think about all six. Man, that's going to be crazy. All right, all right. We're going to come up with a plan. Man, we got to stick oh, together sheesh. for real. All righty. <laughs> There's no Jeez. car crash. We found fucking dad camp. <laughs> Woo! You got it all, Wes. I got all the episodes. Every episode full. <laughs> we got them. You got the whole season? Yeah, the whole season. Uh, <laughs> One season of Dad Camp. We got all nine episodes of Dad Camp. <laughs> yes, dude. Put that in the uh, put that in the golden elbow tier. Yeah. That's right. You, you can you can only get that at patreon.com slash hard the full episodes. Now, Wes, tell us no. about oh. that camp, what people are getting. How do you feel, it. Wes? I mean, I knew you'd do it eventually. Yeah. Oh, I, thought you thought, I thought you'd give it up on it. I thought you thought this day would never come. No, I, I figured. I know. I know Pat's uh, diligence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It paid off. Nice work, Pat. <laughs> Ooh, it was hard, but we got it. How did you, who did you impersonate? How, how did you do it? Oh, dude, none of that worked, honestly. Uh, a very, um, very kind Redditor hooked it yeah, up. He's a friendly guy. Oh, really? If you want something done, source it on Reddit. That's what happens. Source happened. it on Reddit. That's what I say. Best community in fan. the world. Yeah, we uh, got 
the files and they're not like you know like they're ours now the, maybe the, i'll be know. recognized again for dad camp now we're gonna make you famous. We're gonna make yeah. Dad Camp. We're gonna make Dad Camp so famous. They're gonna do another season. We might the have second run of Dad Camp to be better. Than I would the love first. to go to a reunion. There you go. Uh, well, or how many are alive? Uh, no, all of them except for oh, I, I know of just one that that passed away. Elliot. Do you have a text thread? Uh, oh no, is no. that tough to end in the thread? No text. Okay, so if you don't know, if you're not a long time listener to the show, West did a VH1 reality show called Dad Camp about how to yep. how how to be not a deadbeat dad uh, mm -hmm. and um and he's not, not a great show he's, he, and he's not he, so he was never gonna be but yeah. <laughs> yeah i think he needed the five grand at the time and here we are <laughs> six grand <laughs> six <laughs> grand for a month <laughs> it's an amazing show <laughs> what so what tease just, some of the uh, stuff that happened west yeah tell tease, us about tease it. some of the highlights it? that they could expect to see um, I think my favorite episode was the pair of pants episode where um, Dante. Pair uh, pants. Yeah, yeah. We were, yes. we, were we were forced yes. to um, uh, to show that we were willing to give up our prized possessions, and the ladies had sneakily um, stolen some of our most prized possessions. For example, my son's mom took my golf clubs, and then we went to a yard sale out on a boardwalk where we were in California, and we had to sell our items, and uh, and uh, it blew up. Uh, when when Dante had to sell a pair of one of his favorite jeans, and, um, and uh, <laughs> this is to prove that the kids more imp nothing in your exactly. life is more important than the kids. Exactly, you can exactly. get rid of your stupid toys. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Wes, Dante what, was a fashionable guy, though. He, I mean, he did oh, not yeah. want to give up that pair of pants. No. What, what episode do you nothing. not want in there? Because I got to tell you, we, there are nine episodes produced. We, we have eight. Okay, one of the episodes was mislabeled. Okay, Ooh. so one of them is a duplicate. So you know, it's kind of a. Well, I mean. A, you can it's play bit, whatever. I don't care. I, I don't, no, I, but we I don't were missing there's... one. Oh, we're missing one. I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't so, know what it, what it is. Wes, you have you're gonna the, have to. Do you have the, the, the dad? My dad's episode. Um, right. The one that starts. We don't know. There's an 88.8 yes. yes. percent chance we have the one where you cry. <laughs> yeah. There's an 88 per 88.8 percent chance. There's an eight divided by nine that we have the one where you cry, but yes. there's an 11.2 percent chance we don't. So. Oh, well then, yeah. No, I don't think anything's off limits. Okay. Well, um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, how how should we enjoy it, Wes? For for the for the the people that are subscribers to our Patreon, should we do a watch along party? How would you like? How how should it be? Oh, I mean, it's a it? shit show. I wouldn't say a watch along party would. Be. Yeah. Oh, oh come Wes, on. come on! Please do a watch companion. Along. Can you do a companion like a wrap oh, I mean, up at least? A comment, co a commentary thing. You yeah, got it. Yeah, commentary, commentary. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. It's like when they do like movie premieres, then the, and the actors and directors come up on stage and do a Q. Right, I can give you some behind give the, the inside baseball. Yeah, yeah, give you yeah. some in, inside baseball for sure. Okay, so uh, here's what we'll do. That'll that'll be up uh, this month uh, in the month of March. Stay tuned for it. Uh, if you want to get in, you can go to Patreon.com/slash Hard Factor, and uh, it'll, it'll it'll be on all tiers. We'll we'll, we'll put it on all tiers. Um, you can sign. We'll figure up. it out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure something out. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Good work. Um, it finally happened. Finally got it. <laughs> wow. Can't believe someone, some redditor had it. <laughs> got it. Uh, I'm very. It was very God. suspicious. The circumstances thank in which. To, thank Mark, you to the redditor. Yeah. Mark and I have like slightly different um, perspectives on the world, which is why we work great together. But Mark was like very suspicious. Then I was like, maybe Mark's right to be suspicious. What's going on here? You want to click on that link, bro? Like the first uh, time you clicked on I mean, the link was probably nervous. Of course, I was clicking the fucking link. But yeah, yeah. the question is, who is this mystery <laughs> redditor? We may never know. But he I think it's Dr. Up. Jeff trying to get could famous be, again, like Wes was could talking be, about. Could be yeah. Dr. Jeff. Um, anyway, a, sec, a second bounce. Yeah, it's literally know. nowhere on the fucking Internet. It's nowhere. Uh, but I want you we guys to get out there. If you want to see it in the commentary track, patreon.com slash hard factor and uh, get out there. Have a great fucking day.